guys, it's Mike coming to you from the VRV family of companies. In case you didn't get the memo yet, we are now licensed dealers for Chinook. Here's your chance to come out and have a look at a Chinook. The Chinook Bayside is the perfect combination of form and function. Built on the Ford Transit chassis, powered by a 3.5 liter EcoBoost six cylinder engine, the all-wheel drive off-road package guarantees you'll be prepared wherever your adventures take you. Measuring about the same length as a full-size pickup truck, this unit's 21 feet 11 inches long and 10 feet 1 inches high with the AC unit. And get this, it has a full dry bath, something very rare in a Class B coach. It's considered the sports car of motorhomes. This is the 2024 Chinook Bayside. A few of my favorite things in this coach, starting with the floor. It's called Infinity Woven Flooring. It's padded on the back, one piece, very durable. That leads me to another favorite thing, and that's the bathroom. We're in a Class B van, yet we have a true dry bath. And finally, at 21 feet 11 inches, this thing can drive and park anywhere. It's the same length as a full-size pickup truck. Yeah, it's the sports car of motorhomes for sure. This thing will drive anywhere and it'll do it well with this all-wheel drive chassis that it sits on. We're on what you know I call the fun side of the RV here. This is where all the action happens. And we've got a really beautiful Girard 10-foot automatic power awning. Notice mounted up there on top and it has a good coverage out here. It's 10 feet. It's got a wind sensor and there is an LED light strip underneath that awning so you can light up your patio side out here, which hopefully you're going to be spending a lot of time on the patio side. We do have Truma on board. Chinook brags about that and they should. Truma is the preeminent brand of water heaters and furnaces. This is the Truma combi system on this. So it's a heat exchanger in there so your furnace as well as your water heater are Truma. Another thing, hush mat. You can look that up. Hush mat's basically a sound deadening and insulating material that they use to quiet the ride and insulate the inside of this coach a little bit. This is great stuff too if you ever want to insulate like uh, soundproof a water pump if it's driving you crazy and I'm not talking about this RV because the water pumps really where you're not going to hear it but sometimes water pumps can do that in the middle of the night you can get that hush mat and put around them it does a nice job of sound deadening really nice feature if you ever want to look that up now again we are on the Ford Transit chassis and these are popular because there's a lot of places to get a Ford service now not everywhere that's a Ford dealer will service a big van like this you got to check ahead don't assume that you're going to pull into any Ford dealer on the planet and get service, but it's readily available. It's a familiar brand. Uh, this thing drives nice. Having driven one myself, you know, you've got coaches built on the Ford Transit and you've got them built on the Mercedes chassis. They both have things going for them. It's a matter of personal choice but I am a big fan of the Ford Transit chassis. Now we have our foldable mirrors here and keyless entry. Right here's your fuel spot. So pop that door open and here's your fueling location for gasoline of course now there's one utility bay if you will and it's right down here very small little compartment this is where your connections are going to happen so your fresh water connection your sanitize and flush connection your winterizing connection and then of course cable and satellite if you have that at your campground you're going to hook it up right there so Obviously, these are pretty easy to follow, so depending on if you're on city water, filling your tank or so on, you're going to set these knobs accordingly in this nice, tidy little compartment here. And it fits flush along the side here, so nice to have that easy to get to, easy access. Now, we've got our tubular steel side mount uh, ladder, and there's a few things I want to point out on top of the coach. This has 200 watts of solar up on top. So looking down at the solar, you've got 200 watts. We've got our vents up here. We've got our WineGuard Air 360 antenna up here, Dometic AC and some other vents. You do have plenty of uh, real estate up here, you might say, for luggage and so on. Now, if you're covering your solar panels, you're going to be blocking the, the sun from the solar panels. But there's room for kayaks and other gear up on top here. Uh, which I bet you're going to utilize if you're using this the way I hope you are to go out and adventure. Now this is very cool. I love these uh, smart plugs. I love them for a couple reasons. 
first of all, these little paddles on the side lock this in place so that it, it won't come unplugged. So if you're at the campground and kids are running by, they ride their bikes over this, this is not gonna come unplugged in the middle of the night. Another neat thing is, uh, you can't see it because it's so bright out here, but there's a blue light here that tells me I have good clean power coming to the coach to this point. If it's flashing blue and red or solid red, stop, there's a problem. There's a, an open uh, ground, there's a reverse polarity, something like that, so beware. So this is doing a couple things. It's diagnosing the power. In fact, it's right here. It'll tell you what the problems are should you come in, in uh, to that situation. But blue is what you're looking for. And if you have blue right there, you know that you have good clean power up to this point of the coach. And if you have a power issue on the inside, maybe a breaker or something like that. So it's nice for troubleshooting in the event that you need to do that. So right down here is our drain for our tanks. We have 24 gallons of gray, eight gallons of black. A lot of people will say only eight gallons of black. Black always fills up much slower. It's a little bit of water and your toilet flushes. So eight gallons, certainly unless you're using an awful lot, that's gonna last you a number of days out on the road before you have to dump. But anyway, right here it is, your gate valve. And right around the corner here, we have storage, handy storage for our stinky slinky right in there so you don't have to put this in a separate tube or container and stow it inside pop it right in there very handy to have that right around the corner from where you're ultimately going to use it i do have a hitch back here it's stamped for a weight rating up around 7,000 plus pounds now i wouldn't pull 7,000 pounds with this it's going to be subject to your overall ccc what your how you've got it loaded and other factors Suffice it to say though, this is a pretty stout hitch that you could pull a small boat, even perhaps a small car behind here if you wanted to. So appreciate having that. You've got your seven way plug right here and your four way right beside it. Now underneath here, we have our generator, uh, 2.8 kilowatt generator and as well as our batteries. So you've got two six volt batteries under here in a tray. That tray will drop down to give you access to those batteries should you need to do that. And then the generator sits right in front of it. We have our back doors right here. Camera is integrated right under the uh, light up there. So these doors, each of them pop open to give us lots of access through this so if I wanted to stow something up in here like a kayak paddleboard or something I could easily do that I have our 12 volt whole house uh, disconnect switch right here easy to locate so if you're gonna store this thing for a while pop that thing off so you don't have that parasitic drawdown on your batteries this is a real handy compartment right here for uh, the power cords probably what i would throw in there your shore power cord just coil it up and pop it in there it, there's still plenty of room for additional storage inside there as well this gives you a really good shot of that woven flooring this is really nice it's um it's it's a forgiving color to start with it's comfortable on bare feet uh if it's cold in the winter it's sort of a nice uh nice middle ground between carpet and a cold really cold tile or linoleum floor because of the texture this is all one piece um, that's through the entire thing so and again that hush mat is around the whole inside as well it keeps it quiet and insulated I'm gonna get to some of these uh, aspects of the unit when we get inside but while I'm right here pointing out one of the big big selling points of this unit is the fact that it has a dry bath you're hard-pressed to find any true B van where you've got the B van that comes from the manufacturer from Ford or Mercedes and you have a dry bath they almost all have wet baths wet bath being one where everything happens in one little room the toilet the shower the sink if it's got one everything all in one little room this is great because you have your commode it's a porcelain foot flush commode over here I've got a nice shower right there too and while I'm here I'll just show off plenty spacious so I'm six feet tall I can get in here plenty of room for me to maneuver I've got this shower curtain that pulls and it does offer some privacy if I want to have the whole room to myself I can pull this closed and also have privacy to the whole bathroom area as well there's storage up above here so this is really nice and rare 
in a true B van. If you unlock these doors, I can go ahead and open them even farther uh, to around, around to either side. You can just unlock them right there, open them all the way up. I have these window covers on right now for uh, to keep it cooler and for privacy, but you can pop those off if you want more natural daylight to go through. So coming around on this side again, we're on the fun side. This is your Truma uh, vent for your, your combi furnace and water heater. So nothing to be aware of other than the fact that this does in fact get hot. So if you're out here and you got a lawn chair right beside it, it is gonna get hot. You got your dualies here, very nice classy wheels. Man, there's a lot of fun stuff on the outside, but there's more fun stuff on the inside. So let's go inside and have a look. Yeah, a true dry bath on a B-Van. What a rarity. This shower is great on a number of levels. First of all, it's big. I'm six feet tall, average build, plenty of room in here. But check this LED light circle up here, right? Here's our little light switch. And then if you just pop straight up on this, there's a little button up here to turn the uh, vent on so I can pull all the humidity out of here. Really nice porcelain foot flush toilet. I've got privacy, entire privacy if I close this. Privacy for just the shower here. And this is a self-wiping shower curtain. So every time it goes in, it's basically squeegeeing itself off. Is that a word, squeegeeing? Let's say it is. Porcelain foot flush toilet. And then right here is your tank heater. So if you're in crazy cold temps, you're up in uh, the northern tier states or Canada in the wintertime, hit that tank heater and keep those. The tanks are insulated and have uh, heating pads on. We've got storage right above here and all of these cabinets are cnc cut computerized numerical control i think you smart guy you guys are smarter than i am is that what cnc stands for they're all cnc cut cabinets so they're very exacting precision cuts speaking of cabinets so all along here we have cabinets and look it's all open in here there's no divider there same way on this side there's no divider so i can put longer items in there in this case these are the window shades for up in front of the coach so they're insulated very heavy duty with magnets all the way around them for your side windows of the the cab area as well as the windshield so it's up to you whether you store them up there or toss them on the sofa or whatever but just as an example, you can put longer items up here, maybe even a bag chair or two or something like that. Uh, it's nice to have that flexibility. And then I've got another cabinet over here. Now on this cabinet, I have 120 volt uh, power as well as an HDMI uh, plug right there. That HDMI is also wired to an HDMI plug right under the television. So if you want to have, you know, like another component, uh, DVD player, something like that, you can do that. And speaking of TV, for TV viewing, if I just release the bottom of the TV with this little pull tab like that, now I can pull it out, pull it out, for a good viewing angle no matter where I'm sitting inside the coach here. Just make sure before you travel you pop it into place so it's not moving around. And you may say, what's the Coke bottle opener doing right there in this Chinook? Every Chinook's gonna have a Coke bottle opener and this is a nod to the past legacy. Those Coke bottle openers have been on Chinook since the beginning of time, I think. So when Chinook came back into existence after a time of being off the market, a few years ago, they said, you know what? Every one we build, we're gonna have a Coke bottle opener. And uh, right there, you've got it. So I've got a lagoon table right here. These are great. So look what happens here. I can move this any way I want to. I've got a laptop on it. I wanna push it out of the way. It, I wanna eat on it. Two people can sit here and eat. It's very flexible when you're not using it pop this out, stow, stow it up in the cabinets or wherever. But uh, I'd probably leave this set up most of the time going down the road. Okay, so what do we have going on here? We've got twin beds essentially. So I have a bed here and a bed here that will convert into one large bed if I want to. So this, if I remove the cushions from one side, can be a 25 inch wide by 72 inch 
which is six feet. I'm exactly six feet tall. So I can lay on here as just an individual bed and do nothing to convert these to a sleeping surface. They're both, both are the same. So if I can, I can do the same thing on this side, simply remove these back cushions and I have two nice little 72 inch sleeping surfaces. Now, in the event that you want to make it one large bed, you can do that too. There's a couple easy steps uh, that I'll show you how to do. First of all, I'm gonna remove this lagoon table and get it out of the way, and then I'll show you how to convert it into a big bed. Okay, I've removed this lagoon table and just set it aside over here. So the easiest way to do this, remove these back cushions, get them out of your way. You can do it without removing all these cushions, but it gets a little bit clumsy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna remove this from here and get it out of the way completely. All right, now this is hinged on here. So if you just take this up and flip it down, there's a little bit of a lip right here, like that. Now that supports the bed base. Pop this back down. Put our cushions down, like so remove these two cushions. So now we have one nice big bed. Now we're of course 72 inches long and 67 inches wide. So a little more room, a little more elbow room in here if you need that extra elbow room. It's nice to have the option to have those two 25 inch beds or one nice big bed like this. I do have a 13.5 K roof mount AC unit right up here, which is controlled by this thermostat right here. So this is controlling both your AC and your furnace. It works just like your thermostat at home. Turn it on, you can have fan settings, heating and cooling settings, uh, and adjust the temperature to your heart's desire right there. Uh, this little button here, I have to assume is a thermistor to sample the air temperature. Um, in some cases, I tell people it's a grenade launcher for security whatever you want it to be <laughs> okay now on either side of the coach including the bathroom back here we have these neat shades so I have our day shades on top night shades on the bottom or if you want to open it up entirely to see through if you got a view of the ocean or something you can do that so whatever your heart's desire it can be all day all night or all open very nice. Underneath this seat here is where your Truma Combi system rests. So in the event that you need to get in there for service, you're just gonna remove some fasteners on this base, lift the whole thing out and have access to your Truma Combi. This little cover right here opens up to reveal your DC, all of your fuses. This side opens up, if I hit it right, there you go, to reveal all your breakers for your AC power and they're all labeled. So again, if you're having a power issue, the first place I'm gonna look is out there is that little light blue coming up to the coach. A lot of times if you don't have any power, it may be a, a park issue, not a coach issue. So I would start with that out there and then uh, kind of work your way from there and then come in and check your breakers and so on. There's GFI protected uh, 120 volt outlet right under here as well. So if you have your lagoon table set up, your laptop, you can plug in right there as well. Okay, I'm gonna do a little do -si do with the cameraman and then we'll have a look at the galley. All right, now we're in the galley area. Before I forget, I do have a vent right up on top here with multiple speeds. Crank that open and I can be pulling, you know, heat out from the galley area or just create some nice ventilations with the vent up here. Storage here, you know, for a 20, 22 foot long coach, there's a pretty respectable amount of storage in here. No, we don't have huge closets. No, we don't have huge pantries but we are in 22 foot package so keep that in mind there is actually a little closet rod in here for i guess you can hang shirts in there it's a not a real tall storage compartment but hey it's there and then down below here also storage and storage so however you want to use it you've got it right here is the remote control for your gerard awning there's no hardwired switch this is how you'll control the awning outside through this remote control if a six 
6.2 cubic foot refrigerator. This is a compressor style fridge. And what I like about this, well, a couple things. It runs off 12 volts or 110, 120 technically. Um, and it also has a drawer freezer. So a lot of times with these little fridges, you get that tiny little freezer compartment. This has actually got a pretty respectable amount of freezer space and it's easier to access with the drawer like that. I very much appreciate that. And then we've got a little microwave up here, a uh, convection microwave, I, I might add. It's not big, but neither is anything else in this coach, but it's big enough to warm up leftovers and popcorn and stuff like that. Um, and before I let my eyes go down to the sink area, I'm gonna go ahead and touch on our overhead storage here. Very shallow. I'm thinking I would probably put a bungee cord or something across here and put spices up here because this is very very shallow but i'll take any little extra space i can get and then this is an important one obviously not storage but this is control center right here so our truma controls right here for our aquago are right here we have our solar controller right here so this is telling me how much solar is going into the battery or how much power is being consumed if we're not plugged into shore power so nice to keep an eye on that we have our cummins onan remote start right here i've got a whopping two hours on the generator so far probably just to test it out our tank levels can be checked here our 2000 watt pure sine wave xantrex inverter is here and then our light switches, which are just good old-fashioned toggle switches. My favorite kind of all. Good old-fashioned toggle switches right here. Uh, easy to access. And then your water pump switch is here as well. Notice this has got a little gas strut to hold it open. All the rest of the cabinets have, well, I don't know what you call it. It's, it's not a gas strut, but you have to get the doors up to there and then they'll stay open so it's hand they're european hinges but it's the way it's mounted on that side on each of the cabinets locks it in place so you're not getting boinked on the head so down here we have uh these are solid surface all the way around so i don't know if it's corian brand but it's solid surface pretty decent sized sink here with a removable residential style faucet and when I saw this at first, I thought, uh-oh, where does this go? But, yep, it does fit down here. So when you don't need it, you can have a place to stow it and have room uh, up here for washing dishes and so on. Now, I can pop this up to have a little extra prep space. There is an outlet right underneath the cabinet here for what you may say. Well, there is a true induction cooktop. Boom. So... Put this here, plug it in underneath, and now we have our true induction cooktop. Um, and it's, you know, it's only gonna get hot when you've got cookware on it, so it removes having a propane cooktop up here. Um, I kinda wish for a different place to store this. Uh, yeah, it does fit under here. There you go, all right. It was in the cabinet up there, but it does fit down there, so yay for Chinook. Just to release this, you're gonna hit two little tabs on the underside and pop this little countertop extension down. So uh, obviously you need that for going in and out of the coach. These are MCD roller shades here. MCD are widely recognized as the best roller shades in the business. It's what the high-end diesel pusher companies use for the most part. It's nice to have that. Also, you notice all the walls have this padded vinyl insulated surface. So it makes it for a quieter coach going down the road and adds some insulation as well. Have a little storage area right over here. And it's uh, pretty easy to get from the cockpit area back here. And both of these seats do rotate around. So once you get to where you're going, rotate those around, expands the living space, and I'll show you how to do that when I go up into the cockpit area. Um, what am I forgetting? I'm forgetting to ask you for your comments, questions about Chinook. Have you seen a Chinook? So when my wife and I first started shopping motorhomes, ugh, almost 20 years ago, 
Chinook was on our short list. We just couldn't find any around where we lived, which was Nashville, Tennessee at the time. But uh, it was on my short list because quality. Chinook's been known for their build quality and design elements since they started the company. So we're really thrilled to have them on board here at the VRV family of companies. So that would include our location here in Fort Worth, Texas, as well as Leisure RV Center down in Greater Houston. So uh, while you're down there leaving a comment, I would appreciate it if you'll click like and subscribe. We work really hard to bring these videos to you. We're not perfect. I'm far from perfect. I learn a lot from you guys, but I do my best to bring you a representative example of what you would be buying. It's uh, not always easy to go look at units in person. So hopefully I'm giving you a chance to sort of check these out before you make that trek out to our dealership and, uh, and show you the units in person. So with that, I appreciate you watching. We'll take a peek at the uh, cockpit of this coach and wrap up our tour. Speaking of rotating the seats, super easy. Pull it forward a little bit, take your hand on this lever and pop it that way and just spin it around. Now I have a seat facing the rear of the coach. So we're in the cockpit of this Ford Transit. It's very comfortable to drive. I've driven it and uh, there's a lot of creature comforts in here and safety features, which I'm going to go ahead and list on the screen for your reference. If you want to hit pause, you can make a note of those. If you've been shopping Ford Transit, it's going to be consistent with those options that you're seeing out there. We've got a nice flat screen here, which is going to have your backup camera. It'll also have your Apple and Android, so Android Auto, Apple CarPlay functionality here as well for your entertainment options. Lots of cup holders here. You can put a cup in the door here. I've got USB-C ports as well as 12 volt up here in the dash and lots of cubbies for storage. I've got our reading lights up on top here and then drifting down here. I've got what I really appreciate, an integrated brake controller from Ford already installed on this. So. So a good chance if you're using this uh, like a lot of people will for a travel van you might be pulling a boat maybe a small trailer with a golf cart who knows but you have a brake controller already integrated on this you have to have brakes on uh, a trailer that you're pulling and you've got that already here something that you won't have to add later there's auxiliary switches along here too as well so in case you want to upgrade your lighting, maybe you want to put a light bar up there across where it says Chinook or it's branded across the front, that would be really cool. You can uh, wire it accordingly with these auxiliary switches. Nice branded Chinook branded mats all the way around. It's a very comfortable drive, easy to charge your gadgetry. It's a safe ride too. Uh, the sound system's quite nice too. I've had it, uh, had it on with different styles of music. I'm a musician, so I always pick attention to that and the sound system gets an a from me so i also appreciate that we'll hop outside real quickly and wrap up our tour before we finish i want to point out that this comes with the adventure option that which you ordered it with which is this ladder the roof rack and what they call nerf steps here so nice heavy duty steps ladder and of course your roof rack which is really nice branded with the chinook name across the front this is the bayside unit it's a beautiful coach if you'd like to come out and look at it in person we'd be happy to show it to you if you've got questions i spend time every week looking at the comments and questions on our youtube channel i'll do my best to get to those as i'm able my name is mike i always appreciate you joining me and until next time enjoy the great outdoors and i'll see you then